Well, England currently sit at the top of the group. It's Group B, they've got four points. Wales are at the bottom of the group, they've got one point. Wales need to win against England, but they also need for Iran and USA to draw. And those are the ramifications for them to get through to the next round if they've got any chance of doing that. On the back page of The Sun this morning, the headline is, watch out, Gareth the show stars the video of the Welsh players celebrating when <laughs> England got knocked out in 2016 by Iceland. It's a very sore moment for lots of us in this country. Let's get more on this, shall we? We are joined by former Wales striker Dean Saunders. Dino! Morning. Morning, Dino. Morning. How are you? Very good. We're going to make another video of that tonight. <laughs> when we knock you out again. <laughs> I don't know if no, you can I'm actually joking. do that, but come on then, Dino. How confident are you feeling? Um, well, I'm confident that we can give anyone a game. We have done. We've proved it in the past. And sometimes when you see players not performing the way they have done, especially our best players, you can, you know, you can think, well, it's the end of the world. But I've seen them come back from worse than this. Yeah. You know, and Gareth Bale's on the pitch. I see everybody clamouring to leave him out, leave Ramsey out. Those two have got us on their own, got us to the Euros, got us to the World Cup. They've had one bad game. Gareth Bale scored in the first game. He scored against Ukraine. He scored against Austria. Didn't play well in any of them. But while he's on the pitch, we've always got a chance. Well, you've answered my next question here because there's a train of thought. And I, I remember asking you the question, Dino, before the tournament started, is there a possibility it could be a tournament too far for the likes of Ramsey and Bale? You're clearly not thinking that. But do you, I, I said to Laura, I've got, I've got a real degree of sympathy for Rob Page, because I think even if he wanted to leave them out, I think if he had left them out and Wales hadn't got a result, I think the criticism would have been unbelievable. But you're firmly believing they've got to start tonight. Yeah, imagine that conversation. Gareth, could I have a word? Yeah. Um, I know you got us to the World Cup on your own, <laughs> and we're playing England, the biggest game in the history of Welsh football in the World Cup. I'm leaving you out. Against England, is that Imagine. how the is that, is that how the other players think? What that it was Bale that got them there, and I, I was there. I don't know <laughs> what they're thinking, but I was there. But do you know he, what I mean? As players, pulled, the other players pulls. that put in, yeah, some great uh, defensive performances in some of those games. Obviously, I, I'm I'm saying you know the rest they played their part. Nico Williams and Connor Roberts mm. and Joe Allen, they all played their part. But honestly, I've seen nearly every game he's played for Wales, and he just pulls rabbits out the hat scores ridiculous goals that nobody else can score mm. and where he's different to everybody else he can score a tap in he can run yep. the length of the field and beat five men he can score a header against a massive centre back he can score free kicks he can deliver free kicks he makes goals I think he scored 40 goals for Wales in 110 games so everybody's writing him off and he's obviously not as quick as he was we can see that Absolutely. he obviously he, he might be carrying an injury and not saying anything Aaron Ramsey, they've, they've, we've wrapped them both up in cotton wool mm. just to get them on the pitch. Just because you know when they're out there, they can produce moments of magic. Tell me, Andy, what happened to the Iran game? Because I'm thinking to myself, maybe I've underestimated Iran here. I'm looking at the performance against England. I thought England were very, very good. And I didn't automatically think Wales would win, but I fancied Wales strongly. And nothing could have been further from the truth. No, I, I thought going into it, Iran beat Uruguay. You know, they, they qualified, didn't they? And then they sacked the manager, mm -hmm. put Carlos back in charge. Yeah. They played Uruguay, beat them, drew with Senegal, coming into the tournament. I'm thinking, these are a decent team. And then England battered them. Mm -hmm. I thought England played really well. So did I. The goals were brilliant goals. I think there's a bit of disharmony in their camp. Um, lots of things going on behind the scenes that has come out yeah. eventually. But we started the game off, I thought, really well. We started off well. We were keeping the ball, moving up the pitch. But too many unforced errors. If you've got Bale and Ramsey flitting about where they do and you leave Ampadu in the middle of the pitch on his own and you keep giving the ball away, mm -hmm. we were like a sieve through the middle mm -hmm. of the pitch. So um, it's easy after the game, isn't it? We've both been managers. Mm -hmm. After the game, you look back and you think, shouldn't have done that. Uh, and I think Pagey's also yeah. gone, shouldn't have done that. But hey, we're lucky to be here. Mm. We're the smallest nation. He's not got a pool of players he can say, right, I'm going to leave Ramsey out, yeah. I'm going to leave Bale out, and I'm going to put these two Premier League players in. He can't do that. So they're still better than the players we've got in the squad, and that's not being how does he get about it? How does he get about it tonight? Do you know how, I mean, it's, got, it's, it's win or bust. 
So yeah. how did you get about it? Uh, I think we've got to play our normal game. You probably play a back five, and then he plays a box in front of that with Joe Allen, Ramsey, James and Bale, mm -hmm. and big fella up the front. Um, so we just we just let people come. When they come into that box, they try and win the ball back and break mm -hmm. and use Dan James's pace. Mm -hmm. Roberts is quick. Uh, Nico Williams is quick. So I think the two wing-backs have got to play really well tonight. If he plays a, if he plays the wing-backs... They've all got to play above their levels mm -hmm. that they've been playing. England have got to play below their levels. We've got to have luck on the day, and the refereeing decisions have got to go away. Do you think, after what happened with, with Joe Allen giving the ball away, do you think that there was a lot of unnecessarily um, negative tension on him when actually there, were, there was so much more going on in that game with Wayne Hennessy getting sent off and all that sort of stuff, but a lot of the focus did go on Joe Allen for giving the ball away for the goal? Well, just an oversight of the game. We started off all right. They hit the post twice. It looked like they were breaking on us too easy. 57 minutes, I think Pagey was thinking, we've got to win this game. He made a change, went 4-2-4. Four, four. So we played Dan James, Kiefer Moore, Gareth Bale and Brennan Johnson up the top. He left Ampadu and Ramsey in midfield. Aaron Ramsey was running out of position, so he left Ampadu in the middle of the pitch on his own against three Iranian midfield players. And they kept breaking on us. So... I don't think I wouldn't blame Joe Allen when he even, sent Joe Allen on. He's on his own. Even after the goalkeeper got sent off, you were playing four-one, I think four-one-four. Four, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, which well, when Joe Allen cleared the ball that went straight to their player, mm -hmm. I was for, I was in the stadium, so I could I looked to the halfway line. We had three players walking mm -hmm. on the half. We had ten men. Mm. You can't do that. Yeah. No matter what state of the game, we could have nicked a goal at the end, uh, and and or we could have walked away with a point, but. Uh, it's easy after, and you've got to say they uh, they took their goals well. Mm. So whose sure. whose fault was it then? If, and if you're saying like you're looking at it, do you think there's players on the pitch that just don't have the kind of experience or the know how to be dealing with those kind of situations on a world stage? Is it is it the manager's fault? Um, no, the players. First of all, Robert Page has picked that team, and the players got a. The once they walk on the pitch, like Gareth Bale, did he get a seven out of ten? Ramsey, did he get a seven out of ten? Connor Roberts, did he get a seven out of ten? Nico Williams, did he get... I thought the defenders played all right. Joe Roden played well. Mepham done all right. Ben Davis played well. Kiefer Moore, did he get a 7 out of 10? No. The answer's no to all of them. Unless they get 7 out of 10s tonight, mm -hmm. there's nothing for us. Mm, okay. Minimum.